All right, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try We Don't Talk About Bruno, capo, third fret. Something like that, anyway. All right, so what we got here is you're going to hit the open fourth string, and then the fourth string second fret. Those are the two lead-in notes. That'll lead you right to an F chord, and you're going to go down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down on the F. The F is the second string first fret, the third string second fret, fourth string third fret. I'm also going to wrap my thumb around and grab the sixth string first fret. Now, if you can't do that, you can do the smaller F. Just stay away from the sixth string. You know, if you're a beginner and that's your F chord, uh, you could do the big giant F. that you bar the whole first fret and then um, you get the third string uh, second fret the fourth string and the fifth string uh, third fret and you can just move back because it's an E chord you're going to need next so any way you do F to E <clears throat> that's the real key to it okay I'm going to do it like this though <clears throat> so on my F chord I'm going to go down down up down up down then I'm going to grab the E chord and go up up down up down up down up my e chord is the third string first fret the fifth string and fourth string at the second fret and again it's up up down up down up down up so together it's like then i'm going to go back to the f and do the same strum and then i go to the e chord again now i change it a little bit i go up up, down, 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 something like that, something with power. So up, up, down, 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 and that's the uh, the opening where she's talking about, you know, we don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about E chords. Okay, so that's your opening. Hopefully, that's good enough. All right, your next part is the wedding day part. Sorry. Down, down, up. wedding day part, uh, something about clouds, not a cloud in the sky, and then of course, of course there is clouds. Um, okay, so it's an A minor chord, second string, first fret, fourth and third string at the second fret. Get rid of that sixth string with my thumb. Okay, same thing with the D minor, I'm going to get rid of that sixth string, uh, but the D minor is the first string, first fret, third string, second fret, second string, third fret, definitely get rid of that sixth string on this one. That's my D minor, and then you just need an E chord, okay? There is an F chord that will come up, creep up in there in the middle of it. So the verse, that's what I'm calling this, the verse is the, you know, like the clouds, not a cloud in the sky on my wedding day, something like that. So you got A minor, and I'm going to go, every, everything's a different strum, so it's going to be down, let's see, down, down, up on the A minor. The D minor is just down, up, down, so it's like... Then you go to the E chord, it's up, up, down, up. D minor is down, up, down, up. And that's going to repeat three times in a row. So it's like A minor, D minor, E, D minor, A minor, D minor, D minor. So three times in a row. And then the F chord. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I play it more than five times. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I, I, you know, I'm pretty sure they play it five times and then the E chord once. So it's one, two, three, four, five, like that. Okay, that's uh, that's. Who's telling me this story? You or I? That part. And then you're back to the A minor, D minor, E. Minor. You do this again three times. And that 
that's your verse. Okay, hopefully that uh, makes enough sense. And then the, uh, we don't talk about Bruno part that comes up quite a bit in the song, is the F chord again. This time I'm going to do all downs. I'm going to do like eight of them. We don't talk about E. That's the uh, we don't talk about Bruno part. I'm going to call that the chorus because it comes up quite a bit. And it's just eight downs on each chord. F, E, and it repeats. Okay? Next you go back and you do another verse. I can't remember what the words are in this one, but it's the A minor part. And you do all of that again. And then the chorus comes back. The we don't talk about Bruno, the F to the E thing again. Okay? Then you're off to the bridge. Okay, so the bridge is the part where he's talk, uh, the, she's talking about her fish, and the next day the fish dies. So that's an A minor, D minor, E. That's the whole bridge. So that was an A minor, and I did two quick downs on it. Then the D minor, down, down. And again, this is the talking about the fish the next day, the day it dies. And then you got E, but you wait on the E, and you come in like up, up, down, up, right to the A minor. D minor, E's coming up. D minor, D minor. Okay, you do that three times in a row, and then you do this same thing you did in the chorus, but this time you only do it once. It's like... times and uh, that's part of the bridge that's what I'm calling the bridge there'll be a link you can look at my work you can see I keep looking to my my left um, um, <laughs> I'm looking it over I don't have it memorized so anyway um, that's the bridge part that comes in next now you have the uh, I'm calling it verse 3 it's totally different part really it's uh, uh, what's the words here he told me so C da ba ba to a G da 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 A minor and then to an F, you're going to repeat that. Just hit them once, C, then G, da, 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 A minor, to an F. Now you do, da, 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 same chords, but you're hitting them eight times each. So C, it repeats, to G, to A minor. So we're calling that, that's all, this is all part of the verse 3. It's a huge verse, it's totally different. I guess you could have called it a bridge to, uh, you know, a second bridge or something, but whatever. This is what we called it. So it's a C chord, 5th string, 3rd fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, 1st fret. You hit it once, then you go to any G chord you want. I went to the 6th string, 3rd fret, 5th string, 2nd fret, 2nd string, and 1st string, 3rd fret. Hit it once. Then you know the A minor chord. At least I think we talked about the A minor. <laughs> if I didn't, second string, first fret, fourth string, and third string, second fret is your A minor. And then any F chord you want. Okay. And then you do it again. Da 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 da. G da da. A minor da 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 da. F. And then um, after doing that twice, you're going to do the same chords, but now I do a little bit of a palm mute, and I hit it eight times. and then E five times. So it's still that eight that you did, like, you know, the F to the E eight times each on the chorus. But this time they divide it up. He's dividing it up like one, two, three on the F, and then one, two, three, four, five on the E. And he does it four times in a row. So it sounds like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, F, E, F, E. After four times, you're going to go to an 
an F minor, and it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You can cut yourself a break. You could do it 16 times, like two measures of 8, or you could just cut it off a little early so you can get to the next part, which is what I do. So I actually hit it 15 times instead of 16, just to give myself a little moment. And I think that's what they do. I think that's what I when I'm listening to it. Anyway, all right, F minor is going to be, it's the only problem in the song. Um, I tried it without a capo, and it was all bar chords, or a lot of bar chords. And then I tried, most people are doing the capo with the second fret, it's still quite a few bar chords. And I was like, there's got to be a way we can do this without, because I had to teach little kids this song, you know, that wanted to play it. So um, this is what I landed on. This is the only way to do it where you have just the one bar chord. And there's ways around it. If you're a very beginner, just bar the top three strings. You can even do one, two, and three like that at the first fret. Just don't hit any of the low strings. And you'll get, you'll get the flavor of the chord. It's really that third string first fret. That's the note we really want. Um, the F minor that I was playing, I just barred the whole first fret. Fifth string and fourth string at the third fret. That's my F minor. And it's really that one note, which when you're doing bar chords and you're a beginner, you don't get that note to come out. So you can do a smaller version where you bar the top three strings and then fourth string third fret. You just stay away from these two strings. It's not going to sound cool. You can wrap your thumb around like that. You can do it like that too. Anyway, you can do an F minor. Just get through that. All right, then you have the outro. All right, the outro is um, it's stuff you've already played. It's not a big deal. So it's an A minor, D minor, E, D minor, A minor, D minor, E, D minor, A minor, D minor, E, D minor, and then the F, two, three, four, five, like that. And then you go back to the A minor again, D minor. And that's the outro. So basically the outro is a verse. Is it exactly a verse? It's like a verse and a chorus put together with an A minor at the end. How about that? So, uh, that's what we, that's, we don't talk about Bruno. Um, so, enjoy that and uh, hopefully that makes sense. Um, and uh, play more guitar. Hit the like button. Please subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching.